Hello everybody, I'm Double. welcome back to our Chaos Dwarf campaign. I hope this is episode 8, I always lose track. But, last time out, we got our second and third pieces to prime the drill of Hashut. And in this episode, we will be invading Papa Nurgle's territory, sort of, to get our fourth and final piece. Uh, we also started pimping out our mm, home province. And uh, they're all on their way to being level 5. And I'm going to spend all this raw materials on this because we're going to be getting so much money in a second. Because if we go, we can't move this turn. But as soon as we raise this place, we will get so many raw materials. So, uh, as always, we will do our points. What level are we? 24? Man, I feel like we've been fighting a lot for only 24. What's that about? Uh, we can upgrade. Uh, I don't really need him to up. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just going to get the final upgrade here because I want all the uh, labor and post-battle loot. I think that's fine. And then maybe we'll just do the yellow tree there. I think we're okay there. Uh, Infernal Castellan. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. What's restock? Oh, more ammo. Hell yeah. Now, I can't level him up because it will just crash again for some unknown reason. And let me see. For you, we'll just give you Survivalist. And we'll give you Purple Sun, even though I'm pretty sure we'll never use it. Convoy Overseer? Yeah, I guess you guys are still a thing. Okay. Episode 8 begins. Ooh, get back to where we were. Okay, episode 8 begins now. Here we go. So yeah, it's, it's a shame in Immortal Empires you don't get all these artifacts. I feel like they should still sort of squeeze that in there. Because they are really powerful and it would be really cool to get. Mino. Oh, are you seriously? We can't- we can't freaking reach there? Okay, well next, next turn we'll get there. There we go. Now hopefully we don't get plague. We do have a couple of research that prevents us from getting plagued. Where's this guy going? Ayo, hey, where you going? Where you going, chief? Shit. That kid. What the hell? Yeah, these lizards. I might just have to go and actually kill these lizards, because they're, uh, been a little too cheeky. Uh, this really- I mean, for Infernal Guard, oh whoop de doo That doesn't seem worth a slot. Um, you know what? You know what, Cocoa Bean? We might actually... Uh, oh, actually, we still need to upgrade this. Oh, no, we were, we're doing that already. Okay, we'll just do that. Fuck it. The next major building. Yeah, we're fine. Let's see where these lizards move. Let's see where they go. Uh, did he just retreat or did he go south? Throw more bodies? Raw materials? Yeah, raw, always raw materials. Um, okay. I'm not gonna go into the water and chase him. I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna... We'll just sort of sit here and just wait for him. <laughs> we will patrol the coastline until we're ready. Okay, now. Not that we need to do this, but I'm just gonna demonstrate it anyway. We're gonna attack. We're gonna order resolve because we're cowards. And if we, if we sack, we get a ridiculous amount of labor. And if you raise, you get a ridiculous amount of raw, ma uh, raw materials. So, I feel like the... Ooh, hello. I feel like the perfect way of playing this faction is to sort of have two or three main provinces. Uh, to, not, to unite the province, as they say. And um, then you basically... What is this? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, and then, yeah, you, you, you basically just uh, raise and sack all the... Everything else. So you just have like a, a, a strong core, like strong base of factories and everything, and then just uh, raise everything else. Uh, what can we actually get now, now that we have lots of raw materials? What is this? Arms Monopoly? There's actually a lot of buffs for um, um, raw material, uh, for convoys, I mean, which is actually kind of cool. I don't, I want to save my conclave points. I don't think it's worth it. Even spending 25, what does this give me? This like buffs... Uh, who cares about diplomacy? What the hell? We're chaos dwarves. Who the hell cares? And some of these buff um, uh, our commandments. All right, what are we? What are we waiting for here? Living metal. That's for bull centaurs. We got this. Ceaseless march. Reinforcement range. Mass reduction. Scorched earth. Roaming roundup. Eh. Okay. I guess we'll just do that. That sounds like fine. Okay. But yeah, as you can tell, we're sort of near the end of this campaign. 
Now let me do a caravan. I'll get annoyed at myself if I don't do it. You. Uh, let me see. Where are we going? We'll go... You know what? We'll go here. We haven't been here in a while. Don't fuck it up now. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we're very close. I think we'll just ignore the other Nurgle uh, outpost there. Um, and then we'll just go straight for the battle. What the hell do you want, Valkyr? Are you fighting one of my kin? No? Alright, go for it. It's weird being a dwarf that's aligned with chaos. I'm just gonna say that. I know that's like the most obvious statement one can make when playing, um, the <laughs> chaos dwarves, but it just, it still hasn't quite sunk in yet. Alright, glut port. Sunken sewers. Okay, maybe we want to best avoid sunken sewers. Um... Okay, yeah. I guess we could just make a money pit here. I guess, I guess. I don't really need to, but fuck it. If it gets left behind, someone will notice and get annoyed at me. Alright. Here. We'll greet them on the beach, shall we? Very nice. Alright, this is actually getting very close. We could just rush all that, but, uh... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I hope there's no one in the sunken sewers. I'm sure you guys are hoping there is, so I get jumped. What the hell? No, go away. We do not make deals with cowards. Go away. Oh, good for you, Kugath. You just confederated someone. How'd you feel? I have to keep checking down here, by the way. Who the fuck? Get the hell out of here, baleful prince. Bro, I'm literally playing cat and mouse with this fucking guy. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna skip to the battle because this guy's. Yeah, we're just gonna play cat and mouse here. Okay, we are in range. We've got one point to give our boy. And we're just gonna put it in speed because I want my cow to be even faster. So this is for the final piece. Sorry, sunken sewers. You're not. You don't give me anything. And there it is. We got a great unclean one. We got some exalted plague bearers. Some regular plate bearers, some nurglings, and two great unclean ones. This looks very easy. But in the ogre battle, they spawned reinforcements on us. So, maybe... Maybe looks can be deceiving. We'll see. Let's go. Alright, it looks like an underway battle, but... Nurglified. That is disgusting, actually. Okay. So the great unclean ones are all on the left. Actually, his lord is on the left. Dude, I say we just freaking bombard this guy back to the Stone Age. What do you say? Redevil, that's all you've been doing this campaign. True, but this one will actually work. Um, there's a bit of, like, crooked high ground, but it should still be fine. Okay. We're gonna go with our tried and true box until you win. I wish I could save, sort of, uh, formations, you know? I think there is a mod for that, but, uh... Obviously wouldn't work with uh, early access and all that. Yeah, this box will be undefeated. Away we go. Now Nurgle are very slow. We should actually be able to get away with this. Alright, you don't, you don't need to be in there. And Magma Cannons will fire one there. One there. One there. And let's have a look at this fire damage. Boom! That's what we're talking about. You know what? I forgot about the reinforcements they're probably going to send. Something else does deep in the sewers. If they come up behind us, we're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble if they come up behind us. In fact, we might just keep the Kadai here. Alright, surely that's close enough. To be careful, actually. Plague toads are spawning from the pools of the deep. Oh! You bastards! It's a trap! Take him down! Alright, magma cannons can just keep firing on the right side. Oh, there's a great unclean one on the right as well. Uh, fire breath, go. Oh god, we might be in trouble. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, hit that great unclean one, go. Fuck it, land. Land! 
Don't let them touch the magma cannons. Oh god. Alright, Great Uncle Leon's falling over there. Blunderbuss is fire. Magma cannon direct hit on that Great Uncle Leon. Beautiful. Alright. I know they're plague toads, but this has worked on everything else, so it should work again. For her shoot! Aha! Damage over time cares not whether you're plague toads or not. Beautiful. Alright, immortals get into the war. And this magma cannon's actually gonna hit these guys at the back. Plague toads? Ayo? Ayo, no plague toads? Oh my god, there's such a big clump there. Dude, Gordos is doing some serious... Oh, fuck. He's got some flies. He's got some flies. And does anyone know where all of our Winds of Magic has gone? Because I do not. Castellan, we need you into the war. Fuck it. I don't care if their flies hit him. Hit the right flag. Hit that one. Yeah, maybe if we do this, we sh Oh, actually, you know what? Reposition. Hit the flyers. And Gordas is really trying his best, but there's just... He's just got too much health, goddammit. Yeah, put damage reflection on you. Alright, this seems okay. Alright, you can go back in. Uh, oh, I forgot we have this. Flame cannon, just hit there. See if you can. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. How are those models doing? Oh, easy. Easy fucking game. Alright, go through the gap. Man, I love it when these guys just get nailed by my magma cannons. It's so beautiful. And that's it. Crumble, baby. Crumble. Crumble. And rot. Demon. Beautiful. Alright, our immortals, where are they? Wow, they actually just tanked so much. These guys, not so much. Easy. Thought he could flank me with some plague toads. Man. Get out of here. We lost 84 units. Our magma cannons nailed most of their hits. Gordas hardly took any damage. And remember, we haven't even buffed him that much. I gave him his... No, actually, all of his abilities that he has are he started with. We've, like, barely leveled him up and he just slices anyone. He's such a strong hero. Okay, give me that labor, please. 62? Yeah, fine. Alright, here we go. Ancestor Relic of Grimnet. Man, that's an awesome picture. So if we keep it... Um, we get Slayer for Chaos, which gives us melee attack. Use is one. Get the hell out of here. This will progress. Okay, we get character XP gain, melee defense for lords and heroes. Nice. And recruit rank up. That's good. Okay, the final piece. Booyah. Victory of Nurgle. Hell yeah. The Great Drill of Hashut. The Great Drill of Hashut is primed for operation, powered by the desecrated artifacts of the treacherous ancestor gods. It will descend into the depths and bore through the mantles of rock into Hashut's domain. I hope the final battle is better than the Bellicor one, because that one was pain. I hated that one. The lakes of the bull god's blood will be yours. However, the bitter kin of the west have followed your glorious trail of destruction. Yeah, because they have the manpower to do that. And now come to upend, upend your grand plan. The Grudge Keeper and his weakling subjects must not only be kept away from the drill, but slaughtered for their audacity. So, we have another quest battle. Against our kin, because apparently they can muster like that. And we get the Blood of a Shoot. Oh, gives us sale value of cargo. Okay. Only 20%. I feel like they, under, I feel like they oversold the value of this Blood of a Shoot. <laughs> Uh, our demon smith sorcerers can now use blood of a shoot to destroy settlements of our enemies. Oh, never mind. That's interesting. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. Okay, so we can go and do that anytime, right? Great drill of a shoot. 
Really? We can't teleport there? Are you out of your mind? I have to physically go there? Fuck it, L. Okay, they, they knew what they were doing. Hold on. Okay, yeah, they, they wanted to pad this game out. Okay, so, we've got this complete. Now, what I wanted to do is actually get the Morgrim one, which is where? This one, Barden. He's actually just been chilling here. So, I might just go there. And then we'll fight him. And then, for the final battle... Oh, this guy's going to be a real prick, isn't he? And then, for the final battle, we'll get our Dreadquake Mortars. Maybe we'll just kill these guys, because they're annoying the shit out of me. We'll get our Dreadquake Mortars. We'll get our Kadai, whatever the hell. And then, we should be good. Um, actually... Hey, yo. Hey, fucking yo. I think we might be in business. Let's switch the commandment to recruitment cost. Let's put a dude in the Black Fortress. Someone with the... Ah, perfect. Hello? With the fourth relic, the, what? I would... the great drill has the power to breach Hashut's domain. The mighty construct begins to thrum and quiver, shaking the ground as it prepares to launch its fearsome assault. Yet beyond the Ash Ridge Mountains, the ground shakes in ominous echo. For a vast alliance marches under the banner of High King Thorgrim Grudgebearer. The grudge of all grudges shall be settled. Okay, I don't know why they did it like this and not in a full screen, but yeah, I, I assumed it meant Thorgrim when we read that text earlier. I assumed it meant him. Okay, so we're here at the Morgrim fight. As you probably noticed in the bottom right, we've gone quite a few turns. Or rather, we skipped quite a few turns. It's because going all the way from the north, all the way to him, uh, who was at Zuthbar and not over here, like the map said. Yeah, it took a little bit longer, but here we are. We've already primed our drill, but I just wanted to get this last piece because... Oh god, what is that army? Uh, Those are some rank 9 great cannons. And some rank 9 gyro bombers and iron break. That's. I don't know where we got that, but we'll put that on you. That's tricky. We're gonna quick save a second. Okay, uh, this actually might be a challenge. Here we go. It's okay, so long as the map doesn't cuck. Okay, yeah, we just got seriously cucked. What the hell is this? They have the high ground. Oh, actually, it's kind of leveled there, but there's trees in the way. Bruh, are you kidding me? Oh my god, we just got cucked. Can my magma cannons even fire like that? You know what? It doesn't matter if they can't. They're gonna do it anyway. Let's have a look. Yeah, they can get that. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a tight battle. And not tight in the good way. This is gonna be a real difficult battle. But we will charge nonetheless. We will charge head on into those uh, iron breakers, which is probably gonna be a terrible idea. Um, but what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna flank with our blunderbusses. We'll have fireborn just for cover. And if we can, yeah, actually hit their flanks with these guys, then we should be okay. Emphasis on the should, because I have no idea if we're actually gonna be okay. Where's our lord? Up the middle? Alright, well, Gordas, you go up the middle. And... Yeah, you can go with them. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And... Oh god, this is gonna be rough. Charge! Because Ironbreakers have those, um... Ironbreakers have those uh, blasting charges, which do a colossal amount of damage. But as I said, if we can just flank around, then uh, maybe we'll be okay. God, I love the way he says that. Oh, that Jarrah Bomb just got completely fucked. In fact, we're gonna take that out now because our blunderbusses can do a lot of damage with that. Alright, Iron Break, or Magma Cannons, we wanna hit the Iron Breakers and we'll hit a Thunderer there. I'm not too worried about the cannons, obvious, uh, honestly. I am worried about Thunderers though. Oh god. Oh god. And I think our cannons are actually hitting Drazo because. Uh, oh god, those are Hammerers. Alright, Gold does do your thing. Let's go. Probably popped out a bit too early, but fuck it. 
These thunders are really hitting me hard, you fuckers. Stop doing that. Stop blowing holes in my ship. Alright, cannons. Keep firing blunderbusses. Fuck it, we're just gonna go melee. Alright, Drezoth, we have that epic healing on you. You should be fine. You should be fine. God, I hope he's gonna be fine. He's got iron drakes in there. Holy fuck. Come on, Kadai, you're made of fire. That shouldn't affect you. Alright, I think maybe our Magma Cannon's gonna hit the back line. How's the front line looking? You know what? Not as bad as I thought. Gordos, how are you doing? You've done no damage and all your abilities are cooled down. Okay, well that's kind of bad. Alright, backline has sort of rounded a little bit. Yeah, we'll put some damage reflection on you boys. Zorumansa! Alright, who needs help? Who needs help? Uh, I don't know where we actually need to drop this. I actually think we melted him. Even though he's got rank 9 units, I feel like because we've got so many buffs and leaderships, I feel like we just triumph over him. Oh yeah, easy. Easy. Alright, they're Lord Routing. You got some hammerers here. Wow, that was... That was surprisingly easy. His gyro bombers, he used them, like, painfully badly. <laughs> Really badly, I'll have, it has to be said. Alright, mow these fuckers down, come on. Mow them down, mow them down, mow them down. Come on, mow them down. God, the way those blunderbusses go off. And yeah, these guys took a little bit of damage. But they actually only lost two entities, which is kind of funny. And if we actually check Drazos' health right now... Yeah, it's just constant. There's no... We haven't got a health cap on it, but look at that. That's why we got that uh, ability earlier. <laughs> Beautiful. And these guys are going to heal up as well. All right, that was easy. Let, let, let's do one one last fire breath and then we're good. We'll just finish it off. Sorry, Iron Breakers. Wow. To kill Iron Breakers like that, that was, that's actually pretty impressive. Alright, that's the battle done. Labor, please. And now, we have the final piece. Because, Morgrim's Eye. This is what we wanted. So this is just passively buffs the missile strength and range of all of our artillery and missile units, which is invaluable for us. Um, but we also get a ability. Let me just equip that. We also get an ability. Where are you? Here we go. We also get... Is it going to show us? We get AP, missile damage, and accuracy. And uh, not the best range, but affects everyone in there. So uh, we have an active one too. So yeah, we have all the pieces we need for the final battle. This is the end of episode 8. Next time, we will be fighting the final battle where we will try and drill into the realm of Hashut. And um, yeah, it should be cool because we're going to finally pimp out our army. This number is going to go into the negatives. It's going to be humongous. It's going to be hilarious. So yeah, don't miss out on the final episode where we actually complete... Uh, the main story. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment if you want, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Goodbye.